Ah, time to relax with a nice sweet glass of OJ. You know that's fake, right? Pfft, that can't be true. It says all natural on the bottle. Sure about that? Hmm, ah, so it's really fake. Faker than a $3 bill. Well, at least I still have this nice parmesan to make my grilled cheese sandwich with. Uh... Oh, come on! Fake food? Did you just hear us right? Well, you stomached fake sushi and we didn't hear you complaining back then. Are you eating this? Fake food could kill you. Sushi, coffee, tea, spice, you name it. Food fraud, or as we like to call it, culinary deception 101 is all about dishing out something that looks and sometimes smells like the real deal. But it's about as authentic as an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. A lot of food is fake and the counterfeiters are spearheading this conspiracy like Tarzan. And this isn't some tiny conspiracy either. If you're thinking, well, fake food isn't allowed in my country, it is. We're talking big brands like Mott's Apple Juice, Kraft, Great Value, all those grocery store brands you've bought before. Those sweet, nostalgic staples of your childhood. They have their fingerprints all over this culinary conspiracy. You might have sipped those delicious all-natural fruit juices or had a nice cup of the rich coffee blends. But what if we told you that sometimes what you're tasting is more of a the little panda fighter than kung fu panda? Yes, dear food spirators, it's not just conspiracy theories, it's a food spiracy in action. These industry giants don't care what you eat. They only care that it tastes like what you eat. And it's just good enough to pass FDA standards. And as we've seen before, meeting government standards isn't all that difficult. We're looking at you, mister. If a candy bar has only one nut, we feel it is above our minimum nutrient standard. All they care about is that sweet, not fake at all profit. And because of that, they dance dangerously close to the line between authenticity and deception. The food world is full of hidden tricks and, luckily for you, food spiracy always exposes them. So let's put our aliens conspiracy cream right here. As Larry Olmsted, the guru of genuine culinary concoctions, tells us it's all about the money. They would make more money. It's no fun getting something else when you paid for one thing and worst case scenario, you might be scarfing down something that belongs more in a chemistry lab than your breakfast table. Sadly, your favorite stores all sell this fake food. Trader Joe's, Walmart, even Costco. So what's our first fruity fraud? The juice is loose. Orange juice is being unmasked for the fraud it is, and we're the ones doing the unmasking, like the mystery incorporated on a fake ghost. You might think when you pour a glass of orange juice in the morning, you're getting a dose of vitamin C straight from the sun-kissed orchards. But, dear aliens, the truth is scarier than the Looney Tunes. Meet Orango, the OJ imposter. You see, the real story behind that innocent looking carton of orange juice is far from sunny. And it's not only the brand that's guilty, we're talking Bolt House Farms, Minute Maid, and even Sunny D. Orango and its kin have infiltrated breakfast tables worldwide. These fake juices have successfully passed themselves off as the real deal. And they're all sitting on your Walmart shelves. Know where else they are? Your dining table. And you're sipping on what you think is fresh squeezed orange juice. When, in reality, you're chugging down a cocktail of reconstituted concentrate, added sugars, and flavor packets. So what's the harm in a little juice charade, you might ask? Well, for one, these counterfeit concoctions lack the nutrients and health benefits you expect from real oranges. Plus, all that extra sugar can turn your healthy morning habit into a sugary trap that leaves you craving more. Like a vampire for orange-flavored candies. We're talking obesity, blood sugar problems, an increased risk of heart disease. Just to list off a few things that this healthy orange juice could kill you with. As a healthy alternative, and here's a bright idea, just squeeze your own orange juice. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, or in this case, easy peasy, orange squeezy. Or if you're feeling too lazy to squeeze an itty bitty orange, try to find something that isn't from concentrate and has no added sugars. Something like Lakewood Organic Pure Orange Juice, no added sweeteners or preservatives, just good ol' organic OJ. Well, if orange juice is off the menu, surely apple juice must be healthy, right? Yeah, no, sorry. Apple juice is another breakfast and lunchtime imposter, and you wouldn't even believe how bad it is. As the old saying goes, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. But hold on to your stethoscopes, folks, because your favorite apple juice might just be what sends you to the doctor. Ever heard of Granny's Secret? No? That's fine. 
It isn't the only apple juice imposter that's been masquerading as your daily dose of fruitiness. We mentioned Mott's earlier, but there's a whole lot of others like Old Orchard, Walmart's very own Great Value Light, and even everyone's favorite childhood juice, Capri Sun. They're all lined up like bad apples in a kindergarten math problem. You see, the apple juice industry has its own little secret, and it's juicier than a daytime soap opera plot twist. You might expect apple juice to be healthy and refreshing, and yeah. Of course, it's supposed to be. What's healthier than apples? That's why they repel doctors like bullets in the Matrix. But you'll notice when you sip on apple juice brands like Old Orchard or Mott's that the taste is less like all that sweet, tangy, pure apple goodness you get when you bite into one and more like an apple's distant cousin who's been living in a cellar for years. Stale! Well, that's because you're not sipping on the juice from fresh apples. In reality, all we're chugging down is a blend of apple concentrate, water, and sugar. Not exactly a healthy orchard in a glass. If you think that's bad enough, it gets worse. Did you ever think about where they get the apples to make these juices? From the great US of A? If that's your answer, you're dead wrong. Keep up, aliens, and think about it! The US might produce a whole lot of apples, around 4.88 million tons of it in just 2022 alone. But these orange juice companies only care about cutting costs where they can. So China supplies 90% of the apple concentrate to the world. And it's right there on the bottle. But they make it so hard to see so you wouldn't notice. Check the top of a bottle of Mott's and there it is. Concentrate from USA, Poland, and China. Problem is, there are a lot of quality control issues when your foods come from halfway across the world. Back in 2014, three of China's leading juice manufacturers were caught purchasing rotten apples and pears from farmers unable to sell them for direct human consumption, only to use it to make juice for human consumption. Plus, Chinese farming isn't regulated like it is in the US, so sewer water, lead, and arsenic-tainted farmland, all that's being used to grow your apple juice apples. But wait, there's more. Some of these pho juices have been involved in wild mix-ups. There's been cases of people taking a sip of what they think is apple juice only to discover that it's actually chicken broth. Those huge bottles of apple juice might look perfect for a picnic, but not all are great. So, dear aliens, the next time you're reaching for the glass of apple juice, make sure to give Granny a call and ask her what she's been hiding in her recipe book. As a healthy alternative, you could actually look around a bit for something like the Great Value Apple Juice. The regular one, not the one with light on the bottle. Specifically something with not from concentrate and made with 100% US grown apples on the bottle. Say cheese! That's right aliens, it's time to get cheesy. Not in the romantic way, but in the parmesan way. Yeah. Orange and apple juice are off the table, and now Parmesan too. Is nothing secret anymore? You might think when you sprinkle that powdery Parmesan goodness on your pasta, you're an Italian chef doing it the right way. But hold on to your pasta forks because this food spiracy is curlier than fuzili. You see, Parmesan cheese is not just cheese, it's an art form. True Parmesan, or Parmigiano Reggiano as the Italians call it, hails from the Emilia Romagna region. This cheese is aged for at least a year, creating those delightful umami flavor crystals that burst in your mouth like fireworks. But here's the catch. Only 300 dairies in the area are certified to produce authentic Parmigiano Reggiano. It's exclusive, like a VIP party for cheese lovers. Still, the dark side to this cheesy world is that some companies have joined the Parmesan cheese conspiracy, cutting quarters literally in the cheese making process. They might mix in fillers like rice flour or cellulose from wood pulp. Yes, you heard it right. Wood pulp in your parmesan. That's like trying to pass off a twig as a toothpick. Why would anyone mess with such a beloved cheese? It's simple, really. They're after the cheddar, the money. It's all about the mozzarella, the dough, the greenbacks. You see, the counterfeit Parmesan industry is like a gold rush for the fake food aficionados. By adding fillers and cutting quarters, they can churn out cheaper cheese and flatten their wallets. Throw out the $11.20 Kraft Parmesan cheese and go for the full 82-pound wheel of Parmigiano Reggiano. It costs a whopping $1,179. But hey, it's the real deal. If you don't want to lug around a full wheel of cheese, Borzed, the brand, not the real thing, sells authentic Parmigiano Reggiano in neat little slices for just $10.79. The cheese is aged to perfection in the heart of Italy and is indeed a gourmet delight. 
fakes can't even compare. Those deceptive dairy deviants sprinkle wood pulp and other fillers into the mix and call it a day. They're not just diluting the flavor, they're diluting your wallet's worth. So you've got no juice and you've got no cheese. How about coffee? 